Welcome to Fast Click Massive Tutorial. This video will cover the macro control and I will be providing you with basic knowledge and examples if necessary. This section handles incoming MIDI data such as velocity, aftertouch and other MIDI controller information. This section is important to work with when it comes to incoming automation data from the sequencer when Massive is used as a plugin. There are two sections in the macro control. This consists of four yellow controllers which can be assigned to modulation slots. Each of these routes to the modulation data which is triggered by an external MIDI keyboard or sequence to the modulation target. This generates a modulation signal depending on the pitch of the played MIDI note. If you put a key tracking macro to the cutoff filter, you can go to the key tracking filter page and adjust the cue of the incoming notes. This may be used when you might not want a lower or higher pitch to mess the low end or high end of a track. Each played MIDI note trigger generates a new random value at the output of the trigger random modulation source. This can be used for all kinds of parameters such as delays, filters, etc. Placing the trigger random macro in the cutoff slot will randomly generate different high pass values if for example a high pass filter was used. This modulation source provides the aftertouch value of your MIDI messages. However, I have a MIDI keyboard that does not have an aftertouch system, so I cannot show you an example, but this only applies with MIDI keyboards that can send aftertouch information. This modulation source relays velocity data from your MIDI keyboard or other controller. This is effective when the velocity is randomized beforehand on your MIDI sequence clip. Most sequences have settings where velocity can be randomized. Then apply the velocity macro into the cutoff filter. You can hear the effects of the velocity. In this case, the lower the velocity, the less effective it is. The higher the velocity, the more filtered each MIDI note becomes. On the right section, there are eight macro controls which allows you to control specific interactions with your sound. You can easily control these using MIDI controller or any other external device by assigning them. Assign the macros by clicking on the cross handle to a specific parameter you would like to automate or influence to other modulation sources. Once the macro is inserted in the modulation slot or sidechain, this becomes an automatable parameter. Clicking on the darkened area will let you label the macro control. This section is really handy for recording automation from your MIDI controller to your sequencer or directly automating through the sequencer itself. This ends my tutorial and thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel.